Hello, this is Sarah Brosh. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this is just going to be a quick impromptu video and then I'm going to follow up with an actual reading of the letter. So I just want to let you know I created a new blog post and I will have a link below and it is called Yale President Peter Salovey is a bigot and a liar and he didn't care if he drove me to suicide to cover up his own egregious wrongdoing. And so what it is, and I have the proof. So what it is, is that I um, have a letter that I've uploaded the PDF of. I've redacted my then attorney's name because I don't want to drag her into the center of this nightmare. I wish I was not living at the center of this nightmare. But anyway, I don't want anyone else killing themselves. Um, so anyway, uh, I uploaded the PDF of the letter that my then attorney wrote on August 2nd, 2018 to Yale's general counsel. And it was in response to Yale President Peter Salovey's disgusting August 1st, 2018 public statement about me, wherein he accuses me and condemns me of racial harassment. And he precluded the possibility of my receiving a fair hearing at Yale University. And he precluded the possibility of me having any access to any semblance of my due process rights. And he also grossly defamed me, told disgusting lies about me. He very easily could have driven me to suicide, could have incited my murder. He didn't care. He knew that the living or napping while black hate crime hoax at Yale University was a campaign to publicly shame me for my mental health disabilities. I was targeted for my mental health disabilities. He knew that the Yale administration and police were complicit. Um, he knew that I had to go into hiding, was in hiding. He knew I was receiving thousands of death threats and threats of violence, including sexual violence. He knew I was suicidal. He didn't care. He didn't care. And also, in July 2018, Yale's general counsel admitted to my then attorney that there was absolutely no reason to think that I had ever acted out of racial animus or bias in any way, shape, or form. And in addition, they dropped the racial component of the charges against me, a fact which they later denied. So Yale President Peter Salovey absolutely 100% knew that I was entirely innocent. He knew I was innocent. He didn't care. He knew he was destroying the lifelong human and civil rights, academic and legal careers of an entirely innocent person. He didn't care. He didn't care if I died. He didn't care if he got me killed. He didn't care if I committed suicide. He didn't care that what he was doing was a gross violation of my federal civil rights under the ADA. He didn't care. He didn't care about any of that. Did not care. Did not care. He knew I was entirely innocent. He knew he was lying about me. He knew he was violating my federal civil rights. He knew that he was probably getting me killed. He didn't care. He didn't care. I know for a fact, I know for a fact, that many persons inside of Yale and inside of the administration tried to tell him that his August 1st, 2018 public statement about me was grossly defamatory, illegal and immoral, false, and would probably get me killed, drive me to suicide, or incite my murder. He did not care. He didn't care. Okay, so anyway, um, I am going to read that letter in my next video. So please support me. Please help me stop Yale. Please help me sue Yale. I'll have a bunch of links below, including to my blog post, and which includes a link to the PDF of the letter. And I will have my PayPal me and GoFundMe links below. Please support me. Please support me. It's not just about me. It is never just, and it has never been just about me. It's not just about saving my life and career. It's about stopping the moral outrage industry from getting one more innocent person killed. It's about restoring civil liberties at Yale and at campuses, on campuses across the U.S., including due process. This isn't just about Title VI, it's also about the Title IX entirely bogus disciplinary procedures that are happening across the U.S., on campuses across the U.S. We have to put a stop to this. We are living in a moment of cultural insanity, but we are going to get through this if we stand 
together. I am not going to let one more innocent person be falsely accused and defamed and cyber mob. And especially I want to get justice for all of the ones who have already committed suicide because they couldn't stand the pain any longer. Okay, thank you so much. All right, a video will be, I will follow up um, with the actual reading of the letter and a video right after this. Okay, I love you all so much. Take care.